I'm not surprised that most Canadians didn't attach much importance to this issue or that they don't remember. It's Canada's deadliest terrorist attack. Air India Flight 182 was headed to London from Toronto on June 23, 1985, when it exploded over the coast of Ireland after a bomb on board detonated. It killed 329 people, 280 of them Canadians. Despite the enormity of this tragedy, a new survey says that few Canadians are familiar with the attack. In an interview with our sister station, Omni News, BC's former premier says that's the fault of the country's leadership. What needs to happen is that the politicians in this country uh, have to remember that this was the largest aviation terror case in the history of the world before 9-11. It's the second largest mass murder in the history of the world in terms of the aviation mass murder. The Angus Reid study says nine in 10 Canadians have little to no knowledge of the attack, with 58% of respondents under 35 saying they have never even heard of it. And I feel like we have a duty of care to the victims and their families to educate ourselves as we have done on lots of files, on the legacy of residential schools, on, on the legacies of lots of harm and wrongdoing that's happened to people in our history. Another bomb exploded in an airport in Japan, killing two baggage handlers. The bombs were in a suitcase that originated in Vancouver. The terrorists were Khalistani extremists, part of a movement advocating for an independent sixth state. And a number of the suspects were based in BC's Lower Mainland and Vancouver Island. Part of the racist problem is that sometimes when you don't know the communities and you think they're different, it's their problem, it's, and it's not a Canadian problem, it's a problem in Vancouver and Surrey and Brampton maybe. Um, when you think like that, which is a sort of racist way of looking at it, uh, then you don't pay much attention. And Canadian politicians didn't pay much attention. Only one suspect, Inderjeet Singh Rayat, was convicted of manslaughter for making the bomb and for perjury when he lied during his testimony. A man who lost his wife in the bombing tells Omni News he wants schools to put this tragedy in the curriculum and politicians to show up at community memorials. People don't even know why the flags are at half-mast. They should make it very clear and participate in these events and get over the vote politics because terrorism affects all. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.